behind it. Like, yeah, right there. That's good. Yep. Yeah, just like that the whole time. <laughs> okay. Huh? For those who don't know me, I'm Megan's older sister, Emily. Stop laughing. You're just funny. I'm a comedian. Uh, before I get started, I have a couple disclaimers. Um, talking coherently in front of a group of people, regardless of size, is not a strength I possess. Uh, Megan and I share many characteristics. Being painfully awkward in social situations is one of them. <laughs> Lastly, I was informed just last night that I was going to be making the speech. So, uh, I, I'm unprepared, is the gist of that. But I appreciate your support, and we'll get through this together. Flip page. <laughs> you wrote that. <laughs> um, I'm quite a bit older than Megan, so I've had the privilege of watching her grow up and change at every stage of her life. As a kid, Megan was always happy, and she had the ability to spread that happiness and joy to everybody around her. Ugh, emotions. Uh, <laughs> uh, just this morning, I told Megan a story about how she once got us lost driving to church. She was only a kid at the time, but she assured me that she knew where she was going and confidently gave me very, very specific driving directions. <laughs> After about 30 minutes of aimlessly driving around, I was like, where the hell are we? Her response was, I don't know, I'm nine. <laughs> uh, when I told Megan this story earlier today, she said she was just happy to hang out with me. And that's how Megan has always been, happy and content to be with people that love her and that she loves, even uh, and, and excited for any adventure even if the adventure is getting hopelessly lost in the Quad Cities area. <laughs> Watching Megan grow up has been one of the greatest joys of my life. Over the past several years, I've watched her transform into a truly amazing woman. I'm constantly reminding myself that she's not a kid anymore. Flip page. <laughs> Uh, I watched her graduate high school, start college, start a career, buy a house, and today I got to watch her get married. Through all this growth and change, she's always maintained the qualities that she's had since childhood, the qualities that make Megan Megan. Uh, since I wanted to make this speech as short as possible, uh, I tried to find one word that describes Megan, and it's difficult. Uh, but I decided that the one word is authentic. She's genuine in everything that she does. And she motivates everybody around her to be genuine and authentic. That's why I'm confident when I say that being Megan's sister has made me a better person. Thank you. I could not ask for a better sister. Now on to Logan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this morning I tried to remember the first time I met Logan. And I tried for like 45 minutes, and I got nothing. I got nothing. Cam says it's because Logan's not memorable. <laughs> but I think, <laughs> I think it's because Logan fits into the family so seamlessly that it's hard to remember life BL before Logan. <laughs> Last Thanksgiving, I called Logan brother. And in that snarky ass Logan tone that we all know and love, he said, You can't call me that yet. <laughs> well, pal, now I can. You are officially stuck with me as a sister. And jokes aside, I have no complaints. I've been able to watch Megan and Logan's relationship grow and mature. And yes, I use the words Logan and mature in the same sentence. Wow. I'm shocked too. That's a first. Only took seven years. <laughs> I've seen Megan and Logan's, I see that Megan and Logan's relationship is filled with fun, silliness, and the occasional shit-talking. But it also possesses the other qualities necessary for lifelong love and friendship. Mutual respect, fierce loyalty, and support for one another. Thank God, the last page. Oh, wait, no. No, it's not. I'm so sorry. Uh, it's, oh, we're close. We're close. 
Uh, I'm so happy that Megan found Logan, a man just as wonderfully ridiculous as she is. In finding Logan, Megan also found his family. To Logan's family, I don't know you well, but it doesn't take much to know that you're fantastic. I know that you've taken my sister in as your own, and I know that you're dedicated in supporting both Megan and Logan through this crazy adventure called life. This wedding is not just a union between Megan and Logan, but a union between our families, and I couldn't be happier. That's not <laughs> Now finally, raise our glasses. First to Megan and Logan, then to all of us, one family, and finally to this speech being over. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Come on, bear. <laughs>